an incident with the car window yesterday. It's actually happened before, but last time it was the passenger side window. This time it was the driver side window. I will show you what happened. You see, the window is closed, no problem. But the only thing holding up the window Have a look at this. The only thing holding up the window is this suction cup. It's actually a phone holder. The mechanism in the door holding the window broke. So the window went all the way down. And I, to get the window closed, I had to take the inside of the door off. Um, and actually when I was doing that I took out the the whole mechanism. It's supposed to be screwed in different places, but I took it out and that's why all the cables are like like this. So uh, that way I could get to the window and close it. And obviously it was right after I arrived and it almost it almost rained. I just finished when it started to rain, so uh, luckily I did get finished in time. So now to open the door from the inside, I have to pull this this wire. I've decided I'm gonna leave it like this for now. I'm going to make. I want to see if I've got some wood I can use, and then I'm gonna make a support for the window from down here from the bottom and up to the bottom of the window to hold it up the way it is now where it's only hold up by that suction cup it's not gonna stay there I'm afraid so uh, I need to get something ledged in uh, wedged in or something <laughs> so it stays there but um, let me go get my tools and uh, crank on with it Well, let's see. I got some tool and yeah, a tool and uh, some wood. Let's see if it's long enough. I think it might be. I'm going to put on these because it's very very sticky in there. I guess it's anti-rust treatment or something like that because it's. Really, really sticky. Let's see. Actually. That stick, that stick was exactly the right length, without having to do anything to it. Nope. Cut a little bit of a ledge. You see that? I hope the glass can fit into there so it sticks, sits better. The ones. Let's see if the other one's still. So. That's it. That was for sure a redneck fix, but uh, I believe it's holding up. Maybe I should put these when I test it, or at least one of them, so I can catch the glass if it doesn't hold up. Well, let's see.
Let's take this sucking cover. Yeah, it stays there. That's good. Wow. Take away the tools again. Well, that'll have to do for now. And then when uh, I get back to work tomorrow, I can uh, book a time at the repair shop. The way it is now, it's not really in a rush. Can wait. I can't uh, lower the window and I can't. Uh, adjust the mirrors but besides that it'll be all right actually adjusting the mirrors if i needed to i could put that back in uh... <laughs> if i needed to i could click that one on that's for adjusting the mirrors and that could work but no need so that was a small fix but uh, if you look here behind me there's the inside of the door on the back seat and here on the on the passenger seat next to me is all the parts the speaker the well the phone holder was there too but the speaker and the uh, adjuster for the mirror and the door hand well that was a small speaker and the door handle with all the buttons so I detached it all I detached it all yesterday to get the door card off but uh, well at least now the at least now the window stays up and uh, I can drive. So, yesterday I had planned to go to the lake to uh, do some kayaking. I didn't do that because it was on the way there that the window all of a sudden dropped. I decided to go direct here to Helsingør uh, so I would have time to fix this. And it did take the rest of the. Uh, of the afternoon you know it was it was tedious work I have to say because I didn't know a hundred percent how to do it but well I found a video on YouTube and uh, found out how to fix it or how to get it off at least I haven't seen any videos yet about how to put it back together but my plan is to go have a look at that and uh, if I can find a video where they fix exactly this kind of door because the the video I watched where they uh, took the door card off was a, a Volkswagen Jetta, and it should be the same kind of car, not a hundred percent, but well, I haven't decided. Maybe I'm going to do it myself. Uh, well, after all, it is cheaper. If I can do it myself, I guess I can save some, save the money for the repair shop. But I don't know. It's it's. Uh, I need to figure out. Anyway, I can still lock the door, both from the inside and the outside. I can still open the door. I can't get the window down, obviously, because the buttons are taken off and there's pieces of wood underneath the window, so uh, that doesn't work. But anyway, if I have to drive with it like this for a week or two weeks, it's okay. No problem. No big deal. And in the end, I will get it back together. So. Uh, <laughs> I just realized my my mom and dad they would laugh when they see this because that's what exactly what I said when I was a kid when I took something apart I looked at them with big blue eyes and and uh, very serious look on my face saying but it can be put back together and well in the beginning it never was <laughs> it always ended up in a pile but uh, it's not going to be like that now I am going to put it back together, so uh, don't worry. Well, I'm back inside the nest. 
I want to tell you about some few changes I've made here lately in the nest. First of all, before I had the water tank here underneath the sofa, it's not there anymore. That is because to get more weight in the front of the nest, to get the weight distribution in the nest right, I moved the water tank to the very front of the nest. So now it's up there. I just, I just kind of put an extension on the hose. You see the hose comes down here, the water line, and I put an extension on that and ran it to the front. And then also, I bought a new tap before I had this little white one, same as this one, but it was white. And the switch in the tap was broken. So I couldn't turn it on and off. I had to do that. I had to do that over here on this breaker. Now I can turn it on and off on the tap. So now it's fully functional. Yay. <laughs> that is for sure better. Another change I made is over here. You see, I put these sockets, electrical sockets, uh, here. And that is because you see the wire coming out of down here. It's because I put a fan. The ventilation from the fridge on, is on the outside. And I couldn't keep my fridge cold. So I put a fan in there, just inside the, the ventilation grid. Um, and that fan sucks the, the hot air out from, from the cooling system on the fridge. And uh, obviously that fan needed some electric, so I take that from here. It's actually, it actually goes down here underneath the bed to the same place as where the fridge gets the electric if it runs 12 volt, which it never does. And also, it runs to the same place as where the water pump gets the electric. So, but the fan is a USB fan. And I, it's not long enough to get up there, so I had to run it to the, to the extension cord. But it's working fine. Unluckily, I plan to plug it into the side. There's a USB port here and one here. But they don't work. And I don't think I can complain. I just bought this thing. I don't think I can complain because I modified it. I cut the plug off. There was a plug in the other end of this cable. And I cut that off. So because I did that, I can't complain. But, well, that's just the way I read it. It wasn't that much money, so it's okay. And it's working this way. So maybe I will keep it this way. Maybe I'll buy another one. I don't know. I got the exact same kind of plug right here on the other side right next to my solar controller and all that stuff so um, so now where I got that new fan for the fridge I can keep the temperature in the fridge down um, it's uh, sometimes a couple of degrees too warm but it's not much not like before before it was like uh, several times warmer than it was supposed to be now it's only a little bit, so it's, it's fine, no problem. Another thing, I don't know if I mentioned, but I put the bicycle back in the, in the bathroom again. It's, uh, it has to be inside. It, it does get way too uh, rusty and, and worn out if it's outside, so it uh, has to keep it inside. Anyway. Just a small video about that. I'm, uh, as I say, I'm in Helsingør. This is where I'm going to meet my friend today. So, uh, and it's, what time is it? It's, yeah, quarter past 11. So, uh, almost lunch. So I'm just gonna grab some lunch and relax and uh, maybe edit this video. I just earlier today put up the video about the car show near the sea. And um, and that boondogging spot up the, out there by the sea in in Lisalai. it was a very nice place. I never stayed there before, but it was it was nice, and nice people also. So uh, I enjoyed that place. That's that's gonna be uh, 
I'm gonna go back to that place another time, that's for sure. But now, as I say, I'm just gonna grab some bread and eat my lunch. And I'll see you guys next time. So you guys take care. And remember, life is good. Bye bye. I can still lock the door, both from the inside and the outside. I can still open the door. I can't wind down the video. The, I can't wind down the window. I can't wind down the window. That's difficult to say. I can't wind down the window. Blah.